Hey there, Maritime Race Weekend. Pirates Devin Sherrington here from 360 Fit. I am here for your 10 minute workout program. These programs are meant to be done twice a week. Uh, this is number three. We are three weeks in. Now you can pick and choose. We did some ab work the first time. We did some funky stuff last week. This is a new, whole new one. So pick and choose. Find ones that work for you. And, and make sure you do them. Just make sure you mix things up. It's important to mix things up in fitness just like it is in running. If you just run the same distance every single week, you don't progress. Same deal goes in fitness. So it's always super important to mix these things up. And that's why we do a couple different things. This week, we're going to do something called hand walk push-ups, something called RDLs or Romanian deadlifts. You guys are going to love those. And some supermans. All these are aim to work a little bit of posterior chain, especially the last two. That means stuff that runners don't usually use. And if you work in an office, it's things you definitely need to do all the time. If you get a chance, I will put down in the description below the first two videos. You can go check those out there. And like I said, mix and match, try different things. All right, the first one is called a hand block push-up. How this goes is your feet are gonna be wider than shoulder width. We're gonna walk out, do a push-up either from your knees or your toes, totally up to you. Walk back up and stand up, okay? Now, we're going to do 10 reps. Here we go. Ready, set, hands go to the ground. Walk it out. Either think toes or from your uh, knees. One. Stand up. There's one rep. Two. Nice and smooth. Three. Four, five. Now, if you're finding these tough, you always can do, say, every second rep if you want to. Six. Again, it's totally up to you. And as you get better, always add extra reps. Eight. Two more. Nine. The last one, nice and smooth, straight out, push it up, and stand up. There we go. Exercise number one in the books. Number two are called RDLs or Romanian deadlifts. These are basically one leg deadlifts. You can do them with weight. We do them in the leg back in the gym all the time. In this case, we're going to do them without weight. So on one foot, pick a spot to look at on the floor that isn't moving. That's important. If you're looking all over the place, you'll lose your balance. One foot up, we're gonna come forward. Nice straight line from your back to your foot. One. Two. Three, the important thing here, four is not to go too fast. Five, also don't go too slow. <laughs> Six, if you go fast, you lose balance. Seven, if you go too slow, you also will lose balance. Eight, so there is sort of a sweet spot. Nine, 10, there we go. Easy and to the point, like I said, pick a spot, look at it the whole time, don't look anywhere else. That's an important trick. All right, number two, here we go. Other foot, I always find when I come to the other foot, I get a little tippy. All right, see how it goes. One, two, just like that. If you want to make it harder, three, you can come up like that and not touch your toe. Four, that's the touch the toe way. Five, that's not touching the toe. Either way, six is totally fine. Seven, eight. Nine, one more. Lost my balance a little bit on that tenth one. The idea of that where you're going to feel that is your glutes, in other words, your butt and hamstrings, back of the leg. That's important. Runners need to use those muscles. If you want to get faster, you need your glutes, that's your butt, and your hamstrings to be stronger. Super important for all runners out there. Important for everybody, really. The third exercise we're going to do is called some Supermans. This is great. To work again posterior chain that means your back back of your body this one's super fun i like it a lot because it helps with balance 
It also helps to get you standing up straight, which is important for everybody. So here we go. Put your drop it down. Get yourself set. Now I am not the greatest guy with shoulder, shoulder mobility because I did have an accident. So my shoulder mobility on my right side, not as good, but we're going to work our way through. So hands up over your head. The trick on this sucker is your feet are going to be up and your hands will be up. Each one of these, you'll pulse up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and one more. Perfect. There we go. One round done. Now remember, on those Superman, the important thing is shoulders back, chest up. We're trying to work on your posture, on those muscles in your back that help you stand up so you don't walk around like this. None of us want to look like cavemen. We also are always on our phones. What does that do? It means you bend over. So those are muscles that help you stand up better. If you stand up better, you will run faster and you'll feel overall better. You also look taller. Important for me since I'm only 5'10". All right, here we go. Round number two, we're going back in those hand walk push-ups. This time I'm going to show you how it looks when you do it from your knee. So here we go. Hands come down, you walk it out, drop to the knee, one push-up, up on the toes, walk back. One, a little bit easier that way. Makes a push-up more simple. Two, perfect, just like that, in and out, drop to the knee, and up we come. Three, four, five. You'll notice in these I'm coming just to the ground. That is helpful. A lot of people, six, want to do exercises half-assed. When I say half-assed, I don't mean that in a rude manner. Seven means they're going halfway down. It's important, eight, we're almost there, to do a full rep. And I'm going to show you in one second. Nine, one more here. Perfect, ten. If you're doing a half wrap on a push-up, you're doing this. On a curl, you'd be going, or we don't want to do that. We want full reps. It's important to do full reps. The reason is because the muscle works through a range of motion. On a bicep curl, see my bicep is extended. When I curl it all the way there, it's flexed. If I only do this, it doesn't work the full extension of the muscle. It doesn't flex the muscle. It's important to use the entire muscle. Make sure the full range of motion, that's why in a push-up, get your chest down. I would rather see you do it from your knees Put your chest down, then I would see you do it from your toes and barely break those elbows. Better to get deep, do the full exercise. Second up, RDLs, Romanian deadlifts. All right, we're starting on that one foot. Foot up, reach back, nice straight line. One, two, perfect, just like that. Three, four, Want to do that make it a little tougher drive that knee five six seven smooth and controlled eight see i'm losing my balance i've been talking too much <laughs> nine ten perfect here comes the other side same idea pick a spot look at that spot do not look anywhere else all right here we go one Two, three, four, five, six, lost the balance a little bit there, seven, eight, nine, last one. Perfect. The other thing, and I should have mentioned this right off the gun, every time you do an RDL, don't grip with your toes. You are not a monkey. Gripping with your toes will not do any good. I tend to do it sometimes myself. It's normal. You think, oh, if I squeeze my feet hard, I'll balance better. You won't. You'll actually balance worse. And then you'll fall over and get angry and pissed off and say, can't believe I can't do that well. Don't grip with your feet. 
relax your foot. In reality, lots of exercise is about relaxing some muscles while flexing other muscles. This is case in point and a perfect example of it. Relax that foot. If you relax your foot, you'll get a better overall motion and your balance will stay better. Last one and we're done. Here comes the Superman. We're going to 10. Flat on your stomach, hands over the head. Breathe out every time you come up. Here we go. One, two, you see my feet are coming up. Three, I'm squeezing my butt. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and one more. Perfect. All those things are gonna help posterior chain. Hand walk push-ups are great. They work the hamstrings, your butt, your shoulders, triceps, and your chest. So that's a big bang for your butt. That's why I like the exercise. Get a lot of work done. And it's a very 3D motion. Not just going up and down in one spot. You're moving through space. RDLs, all about your butt, hamstrings, core, lower back. And obviously the Superman is about back, butt, and hamstrings too. We're barking lots of posterior chain. Check out down in the description below. I'm going to put together a list in there. The other two videos we've done. Video number three for Maritime Race Weekend. Check it out down below. You can watch some of the other videos. Let me know what you think. Like I said, do this workout twice a week. You will see definite positive result. If you want to add this in there a couple times, totally cool too. In reality, you could do five of these. One a day, every single day for five days. You'll get more fit. It's only going to take you a total of 50 minutes. You have 50 minutes. Heck, you watch more Netflix than that. Have yourself an amazing day out there, everybody. Coach Devin here. Don't fight the awesome.